Hey guys, today I brought out a revolver that I recently picked up and this is the Smith & Wesson 686 Plus Performance Center. This revolver is brand new. I have not fired it. Uh, so this is basically an unboxing minus, I'm not going to go open the box and go through the, you know, it came with a lock, it came with paperwork, and it did come with some moon clips because it is a, a recessed cylinder that's cut from moon clips, which I'll talk about in just a second. But one of the things I want to point out, and the revolver is clear, uh, so hopefully the camera will focus in on this cylinders so there's as you can see right here hopefully it's focused enough there's two fire rings none of the other cylinders have been fired so I, I thought that was a little um, you know something I wanted to point out um, so I've read that Smith & Wesson does three a three round test fire and like I said this only has two rings, you know, cylinder rings that look like it's been fired out of those two. Now maybe they did two out of one and then one out of the other. I, I have no idea. But I figured I would point that out. Um, all right, so Smith & Wesson introduced the Performance Center models. They have the 686 Performance Center models, I believe in 2017. They have a 4-inch and they have this one. This is the 5-inch. I believe the 4-inch is a 6-shot, and this 5-inch, uh, you know, as the plus kind of denotes it is a 7-shot. Um, so like I said, this is the 5-inch, and it has the 5-inch vent ribbed barrel uh, with the, you know, some of the, the, the things I've read anyway is that, you know, this front side is kind of a little bit hideous, uh, just kind of sticks out. And it is interchangeable, so there's a little roll pin in there. I believe you can knock that out uh, and change that side out if it's, you know, not doing it for you. The uh, rear sight is just a blacked out. It doesn't have the little half U box that's, that's typical of Smith & Wesson. It's just a blacked out kind of target sight. It is adjustable for windage and elevation. Um, it has the unfluted cylinder and it does have the performance center um, speed release or cylinder release so as I would mentioned earlier the cylinder has the recessed cut for moon clips um, if you're not familiar with moon clips I have a couple loaded up I have several loaded up so the moon clip is the little piece of metal holding these rounds together in there um, it comes, like I said, the, the revolver comes with three. I bought a couple of packs. I bought some TC and some ranch moon clips. Um, but what's, what's kind of cool about the moon clips, um, you just kind of line it up and, and, and your rounds will go right in. So you can get really good at this and you can see people on the internet. This is much faster than, uh, well, depending on your skill level and experience level. Uh, just dropping these in there and it's I'm holding it high because of the, the way the camera is It's a lot faster if you just have it down and, and you kind of get them close and they'll drop right in so I'm going to show you over here that you just get them close they go right in and, and you're back in action um, So that's the moon clips And just real quick you, you need a tool to load the moon clips. It's kind of hard to do it by hand. So I have one of these uh, This is a company out of um, I believe Phoenix, Arizona, and it, it works really, really well. And I don't want to take up too much time, but the thing about this one is it's it'll work on basically any caliber. Most of them you have to buy specific one for 357 or 45 or 9 millimeter. Or, you, know, you have to buy different moon clip loaders. Uh, the one one thing that's neat about this, like your 45 ACP would go in here to to get them off the moon clip. I don't even know if I'm in the camera here. And of course this is smaller for the 38 to 9 mil 357 and you just turn it round comes off the way you load them is you you put the moon clip on the tool and you would line up 
um, the round with the moon clip and it just it pops it in there so okay so the other uh, features of this uh, performance center Smith & Wesson 686 um, it has a performance center tuned action so you know I've mentioned the other things unfluted cylinder the speed release the vent rib barrel this really big fiber optic sight in the front um, but that performance center tuned action is you know one of the really desirable features of why you're going to pay a couple hundred extra than a normal 686 so what you're going to get and you know the, the revolver is clear is a about a nine pound it's just really smooth but about a nine pound double action pull and the single action they advertise it as I believe th around three pounds it feels a little lighter to me, but uh, you know, I maybe my my gauge is a little off. A couple other things, it does have uh, a wide kind of chrome um, trigger, like a target trigger, and it does have the adjustable trigger stop. Um, the hammer itself is kind of a teardrop shaped, and I think that's to facilitate the the speed release latch. Um, but it's it's nice and it, and, and it has really good texture you know you can you really get a grip you know if you're gonna be cocking the weapon uh, and firing it single action so kind of you know just last thing and I don't think this would be a good choice although it could be depending on you know the person I don't know that it would be a good choice for an everyday carry type you know revolver it's more for, they bill it as for a performance competition revolver. The, you know, maybe military law enforcement might find some use for this, who knows. Um, the other thing may be home defense, you know. Um, very accurate, very smooth, very light. Well, lighter than a normal Smith & Wesson uh, trigger pull. Um, the, the accuracy piece, so Smith & Wesson says it, 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 it will hold uh, one and a half inches at 25 yards. That is out of a rest. Uh, that's really, really good accuracy. And I'm not using a rest today. Uh, all the targets I fire at are going to be, you know, I'll be standing unsupported shooting either double or single action. Before I adjust the camera, I just want to show the ammo I'm going to shoot. Uh, I forgot to talk about that. So real quick, it's the American Eagle. 357 Magnum, 158 grain jacketed soft point. And this is what they look like. Um, I've already loaded several on the moon clip. And I'm going to be firing the Remington 38 Special 130 grain full metal jacket. Which are these. All right, let's get started.
I'm going to back out of those targets and shift over to the little bit longer range targets. All right, so I'm going to zoom in on that. That first target is about 26 yards. The second's around 41. But let's zoom in on this one first. target out there which is at 41 yards right around 41 yards a little over that all right let's go out a little farther Next one is at 53 yards. one there is at just a little bit over 62 yards out of this one and go over to the last target which is right there it's at 77 yards Set back up on the little over 10 yard targets and switch to 38 special. Everything I fired so far was all 357 Magnum.
right, let's move out to the 53 yard target. Let's move out to the next target, which is at about 62. A little over that. that one and go out to the farthest target. He said it's about 77 yards. pull out of that far silhouette and come back in here what I'm going to do is just fire a couple more cylinders uh, maybe a cylinder of 357 and a cylinder of 38 special alright so this first cylinder will be the 357 This is the 38 Special. Alright, 
So I'm going to zoom in on that. Twenty-six yard target right there. First cylinder will be the three fifty-seven. Next cylinder will be the thirty eight special. All right, guys, that ends the shooting portion of today's video. The Smith & Wesson 686 Plus Performance Center 357 Magnum. Uh, before, I didn't have a, a single issue with it, other than it did start to get a little hot, uh, but it's hot out here, so it's a combination probably of the sun and, and firing all the ammunition. And the weapon is clear, so and it's really dirty with that. Um, so... A couple things about it. I really enjoyed it. The front sight, although you know a lot of people find that you know to be pretty ugly, um, you know it's not the best looking front sight, but it's very very effective. You can really that it's like a, a big piece of fiber optic in that orange just jumps out and it, it really really uh, ugly but effective and I do not think I'm going to change that out. At least not right now. It's it's working really well, and I see no reason to to change that. Um, the other thing is those American Eagle 357. Their 158 grain jacketed soft points are they're pretty stout. They have a kick, uh, even with this five inch barrel. Um, they had a, a quite a snap to them. It was much easier to control and fire accurately with the 38 Special. And I think that's about it for today, guys. I had a lot of fun, and I will see you next time.